What's new crew? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Cassandra and today you're just gonna hang out in my kitchen with me. We are doing some baby meal prep. At the filming of this, I will be 34 weeks tomorrow. So we're definitely hitting that point where if things don't get done soon, they're probably not gonna be done. So I just wanna get some meals in the freezer today. We're working on burgers and meatloafs for the freezer. So no cooking going on today, just strictly prepping. I was not gonna pick up the camera today, this morning. It's a little after eight o'clock because I look crazy, but who cares? We're at the end of a pregnancy. I'm just trying to get some stuff done. I'm sure everybody that's watching this can relate to that at like some point in their life. So we're gonna do it. You're gonna hear the little ones in the background. They're running around having lots of fun. I promise all screaming is fun noises. None is scary noises, but no way. I just finished prepping these burgers. All I did was thaw out some meat. I have a variety of meat in here, but these burgers are just plain beef burgers. I only threw in some seasoned salt, some onion powder, and pepper. I'm using these patty paper squares. I got these from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I, there's a hundred sheets in here. I figured for meal prepping these would be awesome, but also for the holidays, uh, just having these for the kids to put stuff on instead of having to rip up like a huge piece of parchment paper. So we'll use those, and then I'm also using uh, this little burger press. It doesn't work fantastic, but it definitely gets the job done. This is also a dollar from the Dollar Tree, so there's those, but this is our first batch of burgers. I got six burgers from two pounds. I'm going to mix up another set of burgers, but this time I have some feta cheese in my fridge that I need to use up. So we're also gonna add in some feta cheese to this one. I planned on adding spinach to this as well, but I didn't thaw my spinach. And if I put the spinach in while it's frozen or even just a little bit wet, like if I thaw it out and I'd have to squeeze out all the water and stuff, otherwise it's gonna ruin the burgers. So I'm just gonna do a feta cheese in the burgers and then maybe we can put fresh spinach on top. That's my plan. So all I'm doing here today is opening up my package of beef and we buy our beef in bulk earlier this year or earlier this fall we bought 350 pounds which i know sounds like a lot but that's about a year's supply for my sized family add our spices in and then i'll show you guys how i made that first set of burgers i'm excited about these burgers because they're gonna lay flat in my freezer and they're not gonna take up a lot of space so that's exciting. So I'm gonna start adding in our spices. Spices might seem like a lot, but this is a lot of meat. So get that in there. Do a little bit of our onion powder. Then we're just gonna get in there. Toss it all together. Make sure it's all blended. And then I'll show you guys how I use this press and the patty squares. We have our mix mixed up here, it's delicious. If you're wondering about these bowls, I got these as a Christmas gift, I think two years ago. They're Viking bowls. I'm pretty sure you can buy them at Sam's Club. They're awesome. They're an investment, but they're totally worth it. Um, I've seen knockoff versions of these on Amazon too that are obviously a better deal, but they're awesome because there's silicone on the bottom so they don't like slip and slide all over your counter. I love them. They came in a set. They also have lids. They're wonderful. I love them a lot. But what we're going to do here is Lay down one of my parchment squares. Parchment square, and then I'm just taking my burger press, throwing in a handful, and kind of pushing it in there a little bit. I try not to pack it in there too tight because otherwise it can be kind of hard to get it out. <laughs> I'm not gonna, not gonna lie, but they're working really well to make sure that like everything's a uniform size. It's a, I don't know, I'm, I'm liking it right now. We'll see what happens, but then I'm just kind of finagling it out of here. And then just kind of fixing the shape a little bit. But it's as easy as that. I've got my feta cheeseburger here. I'm just gonna set it aside, grab another parchment paper, and I'm just gonna keep going. Perfect. So I'm gonna get six 
feta burger. So, so far this morning we've made 12 burgers, which honestly is um, two meals for us plus enough leftovers for like my husband to bring a burger to lunch the next day. So that is awesome. Number two, like you can see they're not coming out super perfect, but I think as long as they're like the same general shape and the same general thickness, that's kind of what I'm worrying about because that's how they're going to uh, cook all at the same rate. So it's a little bit easier that way. But I'm gonna finish these feta burgers off and then I also have thawed out some ground venison with some fat in it. We ground our venison last year with some pork fat so that we could make burgers from it because venison is a really lean meat. So you're definitely gonna wanna cut it with some fat uh, when you're really cooking with it in that kind of way. And I think I might make a batch of burgers with it, just some plain burgers. I think venison burgers would make really good um, like mushroom onion burgers. So I'm kind of leaning towards that. I also have um, a package of bear meat up here and four more pounds of ground beef. I know game meat isn't for everybody, but I do like to mention that's what I'm using. Um, if that's not for you, that's totally fine. You, obviously you can uh, switch out the protein for something else, but that's what we enjoy eating. Bear meat makes delicious pasties, delicious meatloafs, delicious pot pies, or like um, shepherd's pie. It's so good, but we do like to mix. How I'm packaging these is just in a regular Ziploc gallon uh, freezer bag. And because they are, uh, I have the parchment paper underneath, I'm stacking them just like this. And I'm stacking them too high in the back. Realistically, I think you can fit eight burgers in a Ziploc bag as long as you have the pieces of parchment paper in between. So, I'm just trying to get out as much air as possible. And then just like that, that's how I'm gonna slide these in the freezer, just straight flat like that. It's gonna work amazing. I think we're gonna work on um, doing our meatloafs next. So I'm gonna pull out my food processor and I'm gonna show you guys how I make my meatloafs. I did do a meatloaf meal prep in another video. If I can find that video, I'll link it down below. But I am going to pull out my food processor. If you don't have a food processor, no worries because in that old video, I just used a cheese grater because that's all I had to grade my vegetables. I think grating your vegetables works better in meatloafs because I have little kids. If I have a huge chunk of onion in there, they're gonna pick it out. They're gonna tell me they don't like it. They're not gonna eat it. But if I grate it or I put it in the food processor, they don't see it and it goes over much better. Plus I sneak vegetables in my meatloafs like carrots, bell peppers, and all those things. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm putting in my meatloaf today just off of what I have on hand. It is the end of the month. I really thought I had onions left and I guess I don't, which is fine. Um, so I'm just going to grate up two carrots because this is what I have. And I'm just gonna load our meatloaf full of onion powder instead. But what I do have is some of these dehydrated onions that I did. I also made these in a video. If I can find it, I'll link it below. So I think I'm gonna throw in some of these dehydrated, dehydrated onions in there. And then as it bakes in the meatloaf, um, the fat in the meat and meatloaf will rehydrate these and it'll be great. So I'm just gonna cut the ends off our carrots here and throw them in the food processor so that we can get to assembling our meatloaves. I really like adding carrots to my meatloaf because it adds like 
a really nice natural sweetness to it. I know that sounds weird for a meatloaf, but it really is nice in the, in the meatloaf when you're eating it. It also gives a little bit of a texture change because meatloaf can be kind of mushy, so then obviously the carrots soften, but it just gives it something different. So we are going to dump in two pounds of beef. And then this is our bear meat here. I'm not sure where my camera stopped recording, but I threw in two eggs, dehydrated onions, the carrots, our spices, and then I also threw in some dehydrated uh, bell peppers I did from the garden. I basically just turned around back here where I keep my dehydrated stuff, so I threw in the onions, um, some dehydrated bell peppers, and then I also threw in some homemade celery salt that I did. I didn't film that, but that was really easy. I'm going to mix this up get it in my bread pans and I've been saving my bread butt ends all month long to throw into this meatloaf so I've just been saving the ends and uh, that's what I use to throw my meatloaf so we're not wasting anything around here so I'm just gonna mix this up throw them in my meatloaf or my bread pan tins here wrap them in tin foil and then we'll run down to the chest freezers and throw this stuff in and just like that we made one two three for meals and I didn't even have to cook anything. So that's amazing, I love that. So what we ended up doing is we got two different types of burgers in the freezer. We got two meatloafs in the freezer, which is really, really great. I wrapped those. I'll show you guys in my freezer just in a second here so you guys can see what we got in there. And then I also did some meal prepping today. Um, very like impromptu, I guess. But I filmed a video today and it's basically just like homemade kids snacks. That video will be coming up next. And uh, we got some cinnamon rolls in the freezer. So I'm gonna show you guys. I cleaned out my freezer up here because this is where I wanna keep all of my prepped um, meals. And that way I can kind of see what I have as I'm putting things in there. It's really organized right now. So it looks really, really nice. And um, I'll show you guys what we have in there thus far. And uh, then I'll let you guys go. So I cleaned out this uh, freezer and put a ton of stuff downstairs, but what we have, I'll just start up top here. These are two gallons of apples that um, Lakin, my five-year-old, helped me peel and core and get in the freezer, so that's just kind of something else. These are the bread loaves that we have so far. There's three in there. Uh, da, 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 da. These are the cinnamon rolls that I just put in today. There's nine cinnamon rolls in here. These are those two apple crisps that you guys helped me make a little bit ago. And then down here, these are where the two meatloafs are. And then so far I have some taco filling here. It's corn, rice, and beef. And then uh, down here are two packages of the burgers that we made, uh, the feta burgers and the regular burgers. <laughs> these are some bananas that I'm working through. But that is everything that I have meal prepped so far. So one, two, three, four, five, and then uh, three desserts. And then of course, three loaves of bread. So we're getting there. The stockpile is slowly happening and I'm kind of glad I chose, thing chose to do it this way because it's a lot less stressful on me to kind of get one or two things in at a time and I'm just really enjoying it. I've got more cinnamon rolls rising here. These are, this is like the behind the scenes mess of the video that I filmed today. But thank you guys so much for watching and taking a little time out of your day to hang out with me. And of course, I will catch you guys in another video. Bye. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time.